In this video, I'm going to be talking about input and how it works and how the ultimate joystick can be adapted into a character controller. This is a very simple example. It's just a image that moves around the screen, but the principle is the same for any type of character controller. Um, if it's a human running around or if it's an airplane or a car, it's the same type of um, concept of how it works. So I'm just going to play the scene really quick so you can see. Um, so it's, it's set up for keyboard controls right now, so if I hit A and D, it moves left and right, and if I hit W and S, it moves up and down. It's very, very simple, um, and so if we go into the script here, I'll explain how this is kind of working. It's really, really simple. We're simply just getting our uh, rec transform, which is for the UI, it's transform, um, and we're storing that in start, and then we have a move speed just so that we can see it, um, you know, to see how far it's moved. And then in the update function, um, what we're doing is we're taking the position and we're modifying it by a new vector 3, which is a position, and we're doing the horizontal axis of our input, so that would be our A and D, right, and that's in the X slot of the vector 3. And then in the Y slot, we have our vertical axis, which is the W and S. And then, of course, zero on the Z because we don't want it moving um, backwards and forwards. And then we're multiplying it by our move speed and time dot delta time to make it move correctly. So this is how um, the input works. And this is very, very common for any type of character controller. It might be in different um, uh, vectors, like different... Um, this might be actually in the Z or anything for a bunch of different character controllers, but it's really the exact same thing for every type of one, the same concept. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it work with the ultimate joystick now. So first off, we'll just go into the ultimate joystick folder, go to prefabs, and then just drag out a joystick. And now uh, we're not going to customize it at all. What we're going to do is we're just going to go down to the script reference section, and we're going to name it movement. Um, and it's worth noting that this little button down here, uh, Open Documentation, will open up the documentation window for the Ultimate Joystick. And here you can read about all the different functions um, that the Ultimate Joystick has. So specifically, we're going to be looking at this one right here, Get Horizontal Axis. Because remember, in our script, we have horizontal and vertical um, being used on the keyboard. So uh, let's just look at that really quick. If we go down to the Static Functions, and go to get horizontal axis, we can see that it explains what the string parameter um, used here is, um, and it's what its return type is, and what it actually does. Um, and then there's also even a, a code example that you can copy and paste here. But we're just going to use this one down here um, that is provided with the ultimate joystick that's in our scene, and it uses the name that we already put in. So now let's go back to the script, and let's just copy or I'd not copy, copy the, the code here, and then come back into here, select that, and replace it with the ultimate joysticks um, code. So now it says ultimate joystick dot get horizontal axis of our movement joystick. Now go back into Unity. Whoops, I saved, so it's compiling. And we'll go to here, get vertical axis now, because we want the up and down. Select this right here, and paste that in there. Now we're getting the horizontal axis of the joystick and the vertical axis of the joystick. And that's all we've changed, is just those, those two um, parts of that code. So now if we press play, if I hit the keyboard, it's not doing anything anymore. And now if I move the joystick, it's moving the square around just like it did with the keyboard. So this is a really simple example. It's just moving an image around the screen. But it shows how simple it is um, to get the ultimate joystick working. Simply just find where your input is currently being implemented and just replace it with the ultimate joysticks code. So if you have any questions, um, please do contact us at Tank and Healer Studio at Outlook.com. And otherwise, hopefully this was helpful to you.